This segment is about exploring your home ecology. It's the first requirement for every citizen on earth. Before you venture out to Himalayas, Western Ghats, Amazon, Serengeti National Park, or other faraway places, the best place to start exploring on ecology can be around your own house. Very often, we easily forget the riches that live all around our home. The species you may find around your home may be far fewer in number than in rainforest, but individually they are as spectacular and endearing. Just a glimpse of a butterfly in your backyard or a colorful parrot in your front yard or a playful monkey on your rooftop can give you awe and wonder. So let us explore. Find out how many trees, bushes, plants and vines are living in your front and backyard. What type of soil you have? How many types of rocks you have? How many species of animals that are living around your home? Make a list of them and monitor them regularly. Remember, they are your brothers and sisters. Every human being should become an ecologist or an eco-warrior who saves our life on earth. You want to be an ecologist or eco-warrior, it's your choice. An ecologist is interested in the study of ecology, but an eco-warrior is interested in saving ecology. However, you need to study ecology in order to become an efficient eco-warrior. Therefore, you need to be specialized in both. If you do that, you can call yourself an ecologist or an eco-warrior. An ecologist is not necessarily an eco-warrior, but an eco-warrior is necessarily an ecologist. As an ecologist, you don't just study a fish, for example. You study the fish, water, sunlight, food supply, things that eat the fish, and every possible factor that might affect the fish in its lifetime. Ecologists study specific areas of biological activity called ecosystems. An eco-warrior is an individual who cares about his environment and the diversity of life forms that live in it. Being an eco-warrior is to simply care for our environment in our daily activities and decision making. Eco-warrior life is a symbol of caring and conserving the natural world to unite humanity in all our diversity so we may face our world's environmental challenges together. In doing so, eco-warriors are helping to create a universal culture which respects nature and all living things alike and make one community and one planet. In order to become a fully pledged eco-warrior, you need to focus your attention on two important requirements. Number one, known as ecological intelligence. Number two, known as ecological consciousness. So what is ecological intelligence? Ecological refers to the knowledge of ecology. Intelligence refers to the experience of ecology and deal effectively with our environment. Through experience, you learn about how human activity impinges on ecology so as to do less harm and once again to live sustainably. So what is ecological consciousness? Ecological consciousness means that you are aware of the hardships humanity is causing towards ecology. As an eco-warrior you feel that you are ethically and morally bound to protect ecology. Ecological consciousness is a conviction of what is ethically and morally right. This is a way of life that attempts to reduce the impact that society has on the environment. This is also called sustainable living by proponents of the green philosophy. In other words, you consciously make decision to save ecology because the environmental problems 
are innately ethical